attracted the attention of amateur observers and astronomers alike. Only in the space age was it finally possible to approach these celestial bodies and unveil their physical and chemical mysteries. And although we cannot travel very closely to the sun, space missions have taught us a lot about our own star. Since the early 1970s, the European Space Agency ESA also set an emphasis on studying the interaction of the solar wind, a stream of energetic particles emitted by the sun with the Earth's own magnetosphere. Often in cooperation with NASA, each ESA space mission has been focusing on topical scientific questions. Spectacular findings and basic research have been securing Europe a leading role in this field of astrophysics. Ulysses, launched back in 1990, was the first spacecraft ever to watch the sun at its poles, a region which had never been observed before. Ulysses has given us the full picture about the seasonal changes in the solar wind. And it has proven that the solar wind creates a huge heliosphere around the entire solar system, which is protecting us from cosmic radiation from outside. This heliosphere corresponds to the Earth's own magnetosphere that is shielding us from the harmful impact of the solar wind. Five years after Ulysses, Soho was placed right into the particle stream of the solar wind that continuously blows towards our planet. Soho was the first to look deep under the sun's surface and detected that the sun is a dynamic star, continuously changing its magnetism and behavior. Soho was launched when the sun was 